Hello and welcome back to the channel. My name is Jacob Satiris, your resident LinkedIn expert. And in this video, we are going to touch on how to get clients in 2023. This could be the most valuable LinkedIn video that you watch. And we're going to cover subjects and I'm going to check my notes to make sure you understand how valuable this is going to be. We're going to go through addressing your ideal avatar, their pain points, how you can fix them, optimizing your profile, connection, outreach, content, so much that we can do to ensure that you can attract actively bring in and also do outreach to your ideal customers to get more clients in 2023. Now this is tried and tested. This is going to work. So if you're ready, without further ado, let's hop into things. Bear with me before I start. I do want you to know that I appreciate every single one of you connecting with me on LinkedIn. So if you haven't already, do go and find me on LinkedIn. Connect with me. Tell me you came from YouTube. I will always accept and I will always message you back. See if I can support you. That is something I love to do. So make sure you've gone and done it. Also, there are some some links down in the description that will take you to certain places like the ultimate LinkedIn outreach messaging template, which is doing amazing things and helping a lot of people right now. And also I am helping people optimize their profiles is another thing that I'm doing. So if any of those are interested, go and connect with me on LinkedIn or check out the links below and we will just connect and chat and it's all gravy. Anyway, back to the video. So as with any business, in order to get the most out of LinkedIn in 2023, you need to understand who you're trying to go for. Who is your ideal customer? And that is understanding your perfect customer avatar. You need to think about what this person looked like, who, what their job roles are, um, where they're located, their salary, the expectations that you have of the people that you're going after. You really need to understand exactly who you are going after and what their pain points are if you're going to be able to make sure your offer is suitable to the people that you're outreaching to because LinkedIn is unbelievably powerful finding and messaging directly with decision makers. If you're aiming at the wrong people, well, you're just wasting a lot of time and energy and actually it's going to be doing the opposite for you. So you need to firstly just focus on building. If you haven't already, many business owners will have already done this. If you haven't already, really knuckle down, write down who is your target avatar. Is it a CEO or marketing director in a mid-level company that's generating two million pounds a year? That is, you need to really narrow down who you're going after so you know that your offer is going to be hitting the right notes. And on from that, we then have the pain points that they might have because once you've built up your ideal customer avatar, you'll understand what pain points they're experiencing. And hopefully your offer is going to fix those pain points. So if you have an offer that you are going towards these people who have those pain points, well, the chances are they're going to engage in a dialogue with you because you know, and they know that these are things they need sorted. They are problems that they have, which they will understand. They need someone to come in and bring them that value to try and help them get past the line. So if your offer suits that, then perfect. You're in a dialogue. You have a great chance of closing this particular climb. Now, I just want to hop in here and say that we have a step that we need to focus on to ensure that your customers actually know that you fix their pain points. And ideally, you're going to be doing this before you've done this out. So you've identified your avatar, you know that your offer will suit their pain points. But how do you get this dialogue going? Or how do you influence them to realize that you're the person to go to? Well, this is through optimizing your profile. And I know everybody and their dog talks about optimizing their profile. But what I mean here is look at your competitors in your niche, in your space, see what they are currently doing and make sure your profile is better. Make sure that it tells people much faster what it is that you do and how you can fix their pain points. Make sure it's very, very targeted at your target audience and your avatar. Make sure it's optimized so it has perfect links, there's calls to action, it's presenting you well. All these things will make a massive impact when your target avatar is visiting your profile, which they will do when you're connecting with them or when you're putting out content, which we'll come on to in a minute. We really need to understand what your competitors are doing and how you can be better than them because it's no good trying to go after lots and lots of people who may already be in discussions with someone else and they think that that someone else is better than you or looks more suited for that role or presents themselves in a better way. So make sure your house is in order. Really, really optimize your profile. As I said, this is something that I actually do for clients, but forgetting that, you can simply go on Canva, design your banners, make sure there's calls to action, make sure your profile picture is looking good, descriptions are good, optimizing with keywords to make sure you show up in the right places. There's lots of things you can do on a LinkedIn profile, which can greatly, greatly help when you're trying to stand out from your competitors. So optimizing your profile is a real key once you understand who the people are that you're trying to optimize it for. Now, the next step for me is something I talk about in a lot of my videos. So if you haven't already, make sure you're subscribing is content and connections. But I'm going to start with connections first, the two C's. You understand who you have. You understand that you address their pain points. You've got your profile really optimized for when they land on your page. Now you're going to want to start connecting with people. So you need to connect with those people. But how how do 
do we do? So I'm going to show you now. I'm going to jump into the computer. You'll hear my voice. I'm going to be going over exactly how you can do this step. So how you can effectively find people for free who are decision makers in your target audience that you're going to be able to then connect with, build that rapport, start those conversations with. So let's hop into the computer and I'm going to show you for free how you can perfectly target your niche avatar for free. Have I said for free enough? Because this is free. You don't have to have Sales Navigator to do this. So let's go and do that. Desktop. And what we're going to do is come up to the search bar here and simply click enter. We're not going to do any more than that. We simply want to click enter. So we have all of this free at the top. We're going to go to all filters and we're going to go after second and third connections or second and third connections you see here first connections for anyone that doesn't know are people you are connected with second are people that you're not connected with but someone that you are connected with is and third could be anyone that you're not connected with so people further afield they're just strangers at this moment in time now i would like to i'm not going to do a location at the moment but you could if you have a specific area you're trying to target you could go for that you could also go down and select current company so let's say, for example, you wanted someone working at Ferrari. I'm just using an example. And this is a great one. If you don't want to do the particular business, you can also just say by service category. So say you're trying to um, speak to the consultants or coaches within a particular industry. You can do it this way. But I just want to speak to some managers at Ferrari. That's my goal with this. OK, so I've done that and I'm going to click show results. And guess what LinkedIn's going to do? For free, I now have Marketing and Digital Manager at Ferrari. Senior Partnerships Manager at Ferrari. Marketing Manager, Ferrari. Right. This is giving you decision makers. And you can from here, let's say you want to connect, you could either click send and connect with them. This is this is actually quite an effective way. A lot of people say you have to add a note. I get great results if I'm in the right niche, not having to send a note. But what you can do is add a little note here. You've got up to 300 words and you can send a a personalized message something uh, as i spoke about we do have a um, that a link below which is the outreach template and within here you have an, a complete outreach template which will work and will get you more connections so go and check that out in the links in the description but that is fundamentally how for free you can connect with your target audience avatar decision makers in your industry using LinkedIn. All right, so we have connected with the right people. We've got all the rest of the things in order. Now it's time to start producing some content. Content's really important because this builds your authority in your space. Now I would recommend, and you may have heard this in other places online, picking two to three general sort of topics that you become an expert in. It's all good and well if you've got lots of expertise in different areas talking about lots of things, but your, your messaging can become diluted by all of the noise. What I'd very much recommend, as I say, pick two to three topics that you specifically talk about and then really knuckle down into that niche and bring value and then more value and some value on top of that. There's something called the 80-20 rule that is in marketing and it's not actually what I'm going to describe here but I like to use the 80-20 ratio to say 80% of your content that you're producing should be value driven. There should be no ask in there. You should not be asking for people to take action, to follow your links, to book a call with you. None of that. Your value. Give away your knowledge free 80% of the time. This is going to really help with people establishing you as the authority and someone that's a thought leader in that area and then that 20 every 20 percent or so when you get round to it then you can do a small ask just say hey this is something i've been talking about a lot of but just so we get to know each other a bit better i actually do this as my job so if you're in need of these services and you'll know because you've been connecting with the right people that those people generally will need those services they're generally going to be in that industry or in that niche and they've been consuming your content for a while now which has all been value driven so they understand that you have the expertise and knowledge in that space Space. I am actually currently building a course which is going to outline how you can effectively use all the different types of content from photos, videos, posts, carousels, all of that good stuff. So that's something that's coming along the way. If you're interested, let me know in the comments. And um, this is, I'm getting so distracted. Can you hear the rain? Madness. Anyway, so I'm going to do something right now. Hopefully this will stop the rain noise. It might not. I don't know. We'll find out in editing. Anyway, so we've got the contents down and you've got the right connections. Uh, sorry, you've got the right connections down and you've got the content that is providing them value for most of the time. And then the odd ask. So what do you do next? Well, now you can begin to do your outreach. As I said, there's a link below to the ultimate outreach template because it's all about having a structured set of rules when you're doing outreach. It's not enough to simply connect and say, hey, I'd love to tell you about my business. That's not going to convert anyone into connections it's also not going to be a, an effective way of outreaching so in this ultimate guide we discuss and walk through a staged approach to starting that dialogue
dialogue and getting those meetings and calls. And it works unbelievably well for, and it doesn't matter what niche you're in. I've worked with clients that have, for example, been in an industry which I wasn't sure I could help them, but they were convinced they wanted to give it a try with me. And it was in the mining industry. It's not an area I'm typically familiar with, but did my research on the niche. I understood the target avatar through our conversations on how we were going to address them. And we built up a sequenced outreach template, which is like what is linked below, uh, except for it's very much tailored to the industry, which is something you'll be able to do. And this generated in a, the space of about two weeks, about nine to 10 calls for this particular client, which doesn't sound a lot. But when you think about those clients are potentially worth 200, 300,000 pound a contract, that's a lot of calls and a very happy client. So it works for all industries. I can assure you on that. But outreach is the next step. So you do need to focus on really knuckling down your messaging and making sure you have a, a CRM system so you know who you've messaged and then really following them up. The set money is in the follow up. If you message once and think things are going to happen, you are going to fail. You have to have to message on the follow up. But if you don't have a CRM system, if you don't have a structured set of rules for your follow up, you're leaving yourself out to dry because essentially you're going to forget who you've messaged, what messages are, and it can all get very, very messy. And finally, just take action. LinkedIn is the biggest opportunity in 2023 as a social network. You not only have it as a social network where you can post content and build up your authority and become an influencer, you also have the ability to filter and find and connect with and message decision makers bypassing gatekeepers. No other platform allows you this ability and this amount of scale and also reach because the organic reach is still incredible, but there's nearly a billion users. So it won't be this good forever, but right now it is this good. So as I said, make sure you've subscribed to the channel, leave me a comment, let me know if you enjoyed this video and also go and find me on LinkedIn, connect with me, tell me you came from YouTube and we'll connect, we'll have a chat. I look forward to speaking to you soon. Thank you for watching, let's go.